Hi, this is Corey with Igo Fitness here with shirt off workout number two. If you remember last workout, we had a lot of multi-joint movements, a lot of compound movements that help you burn fat and put on muscle. We're going to do the same thing except we're going to change the way we do it. So last time we had a time density protocol. This time we're going to do a pyramid. So we're going to start with 10 reps of an exercise, move to 20, move to 30, and then work our way back to, uh, back to 10. So 10, 20, 30, 20, 10. Uh, if you're feeling really ambitious, you can also do uh, double up on the 30, so 10, 20, 30, 30, 20, 10. Uh, it makes it a little bit tougher, uh, but uh, that's, you know, that's, that's for you to decide if you want to do that. So what we're going to work with is body weight and also one dumbbell. We're going to move, do some of the same movements that we did last time and also add a little bit more to it to make it a little bit more dynamic, a little bit more challenging. All right, let's get into it. First thing we're going to do is a close grip push-up with the dumbbell. So if you've got a hex dumbbell that won't roll on you, you can hold on to the two sides. If you've got a dumbbell with round sides, you might not want to use this because it's going to be really tough. Just throw it to the side and do the bodyweight version that I'll show you. So we'll start, place the hex dumbbell perpendicular to you and hold on to those two hexagonal sides there, or hexagonal sides. We're going to go down, as you can see the hands are in nice and close, and push right back up. What we're doing there, just incorporating a little bit more triceps and up just like that. If you don't, uh, if you don't have an appropriate dumbbell, just bring the hands in. You can make a diamond if you want, but just bring them really far in, close to the body. Keep those elbows straight back and up. So the first set, we do 10, 20, 30, 20, 10. Secondly, we do a wood chopper with the dumbbell. So again, holding on to those two sides. You can do this with any kind of dumbbell. You can hold the middle if you want. I prefer to hold the sides. It just feels a little bit more comfortable for me. Arms are going to be extended, going down. Make sure you pivot on this foot here. So what that's going to do is going to turn the hip in, keep your spine nice and straight. So you see a lot of people do this. You don't want that. Look at that back. It's a lot of strain. It's not what we're looking for. Keep that nice and straight. Drive it off the other leg. So a lot of rotation in the hips. This is a good core exercise. We're talking core. We say glutes, quads, abdominal muscles, lats, calves. All those are getting to work out. We're doing 10 on each side. That wasn't 10 if you were counting at home, but just demonstrating for you. Same thing. Follow the dumbbell with your eyes. If you don't have a dumbbell, you can still do that. Just make it a little quicker. Boom. Just like that. All right. Next, we're doing burpees. You can use the dumbbell if you want. It makes it a little challenging, and you might hurt your hands. So I'd recommend putting it down and just doing uh, body weight. So jump up, down, out, in, up. That's the burpee. If you need to make that more challenging, uh, you can add a push-up in there, but we were doing some push-ups, so you may not want to do that. If you need to make it less challenging, less impactful, just raise the arms up, don't jump, go out, come back in, and up. It's called a reverse burpee, because we're going out with the arms, instead of the legs, save your legs a little bit, so you're up, down, out, in, back up, just like that. Gets the upper body working a little bit more, spares the legs, otherwise you can do an up-down, where you're up, go all the way down to the ground, back up without jumping. All right. Next we've got some walking lunges here. So we did lunges last time. We're going to add a little walk into it. We're going to do a forward and reverse walking lunge. Each of these will count as one rep. So remember we're doing 10. So we say one, two, three. I want to get out of the frame here so I'm going to go back now. Four, five, six. You just count just like that. So 10, 20, 30, 30, 20, 10. All right, so now we're going to do some walkout push-ups. Last time we did that walkout, we're either down in the modified position here, you walk out, feel that core engage, back in, or with the legs fully extended, like this. So now what we're going to do is we're going to walk out to that position where you can really feel the core start to engage. We're going to do a push-up in that position, keeping the elbows in. We're really going to be challenging the core. Upper body, shoulders, and tri uh, triceps, I'm really going to feel too much here, I promise. All right, if you do, you're not doing it right. So we're in the plank, walking out here, down, and up. Walk it back in, and up. 10, by the time we get to 30 of those, you're going to be feeling really good. Last but not least, we're going to do a bridge with a pullover. So I'm going to grab one dumbbell, Hold on to the center here. We're going to do, take that dumbbell over the head, bring those hips up, 
So we're getting that nice glute bridge here, working the posterior side of the body. So the glutes are pushing the hips up, not the lower back. Glutes are tight, bring them down, bring that dumbbell over. So I've got a 15 pound dumbbell here, not too heavy. It doesn't feel like much for this particular exercise, but by the time we get through a couple rounds of this, I'm doing 30. I'm really gonna start to feel those lats working. Feel the serratus anterior. I'm gonna start to feel a lot of my upper body working on that exercise, and also my glutes a little bit too. Glutes, uh, lats, everything, posterior chain, so all the way up and all the way down the body. You'll really start to feel that. So the idea here is that you don't want it to be too challenging. If you get through your first set and you've, you know, you've only done 10 and you're really, you're really fatigued, then you might want to take the weight down a little bit because you want to make sure that you can make it all the way through. So the idea here is to go as fast as you can through all this. It's going to get that heart rate up. You're going to be sweating. Your heart's going to be beating, but you're also packing on a lot of muscle because we're doing some great muscle building work uh, as well. So we'll try it out. 10, 20, 30, 20, 10. Um, try, to, try to make sure that you can, you can perform it effectively and safely in that, in that sort of uh, protocol range. If you can't, make the weight uh, a little bit lighter, make it a little bit easier, take a little bit more time in between exercises, and you'll notice that you're getting stronger when you can start to add a little bit more weight, when you can move a little bit quicker, you don't need to take as many breaks. Uh, let's try that out, see how you do, and you'll be taking your shirt off in no time. All right, we'll see you next week.